These are my favorite things, and they're surrounding me, and I'm so happy. My name is Brooklyn Corey. I'm 21 years old. I was attacked by a pit bull. I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was scared of myself. In a week, I've learned to just love myself, accept what I look like right now, and just know like this is not what I'm gonna look like for the rest of my life. Brooke and also Brooke's mom was really instrumental in trying to get her medical care. And one of the places they looked at was actually Harvard's uh, face transplantation program. One of the surgeons that they spoke to over there was Dr. E.J. Caterson, who happens to be one of my colleagues and friends. My brother's girlfriend's dad got me in contact with the guy that does Operation Smile. He actually retired, but his son was still in reconstruction and plastic surgery. So he actually recommended me to Dr. Doe. Harbor UCLA is, uh, it's a public uh, safety net hospital for Los Angeles. It's a level one trauma center, so we're seeing plenty of, uh, of not only um, blunt force injury, but also penetrating what we term ballistic injury or, or sharp injury. I had talked to every doctor in the United States that was a specialist in microsurgery um, and trauma as well. I wanted them to think outside the box, and also I really wanted them to understand me and hear from me and just take any suggestion that I had under consideration. You have to develop you know, like a really strong understanding between one another before you embark on any really complicated reconstruction. <laughs> she gave me answers. He had such a heart and compassion. He just made me feel so confident. Uh, it's the morning of the surgery and I just showered and it's 5 a.m. So in plastic surgery, diagnosis comes down to millimeters of what you're missing in the face. So how much of the lip are you missing? And as the benefit of like, you know, living in 2023 and social media, Brooke also had a, a, you know, a large social media presence prior. So she had a lot of photos before and also during uh, her work as being a model, had all this uh, effectively data from what she looked like pre-injury. So I could template my reconstruction based off of that. Okay, so for the surgery, they're doing my rhinoplasty. They're fixing the point of my nose and they're also fitting my lip. The initial technical challenge was transferring a relatively large portion of tissue from her wrist then to her lip. The second technical challenge then was restructuring the nose. Uh, and so what did we need? We were actually missing lining. So we borrowed some of the wrists to, to restore the nasal floor that was lost, that's lining. We then recycled some of her deep cartilage, the septum, and then we repositioned her nasal tip cartilage back out to where it should be. Then. Another set of technical challenges came with thinning the tissue enough so that it would mimic the contour of the lip. How do I achieve the contour of what looks like a normal lip without damaging its blood supply? A question that I've been getting asked a lot recently is do I like the central lip line? I am obsessed with it. If you were to tell me a year ago that I'd look like this, I would not have believed you. I think my doctor has been using his imagination, his sense of thinking outside the box to create this upper lip. The fact that I am looking like this is just beyond anything I could have imagined. I'm just excited to see how everything will play out and how everything will look.